it's a real privilege to be in your company. Thank you to see Tom and the Best Practices Committee. Thank you to Joan Goldstein for all of your help. A uh, special thank you to our superintendent of schools, Sharon Labrador, who's um, up there in the gallery, uh, who made our trip here today possible. I'd like to thank the United Nations Academic Impact Team of Rambu Damadoran, Hassan Ferdis, and Vika Sharma. Their investment in our Aspire group has been invaluable. I thank CETON on behalf of my wife and partner, Michelle, who I cannot do anything without. And Michelle's right over there. And uh, I would also like to thank you. You may have noticed some of my students uh, sitting really close, taking a lot of photos. And uh, I thank you on behalf of them. I can never tell you how much I've learned from my students themselves. During a World History class discussion on the challenges facing the global community, a 14-year-old student presented me with misinformation on HIV and AIDS transmission risk. I immediately called upon my wife, Michelle, a doctoral candidate and therapist who works with individuals with HIV and AIDS. Michelle and I developed a public health and social justice curriculum to replace stigma and fear with understanding. We collaborated with HIV-positive activists, advocates, and public health workers. Our students engaged in an initiative marked by roundtable discussions, a World Cafe event at World AIDS Day, and an items collection for families and individuals affected by HIV and AIDS. This program was developed in partnership with Tony Strobel, AIDS Activities Office, Lehigh Valley Hospital. Tony continues to visit our school several times a year to keep the conversation going. And you can see Tony is standing up already in the back, so thank you, Tony. As part of the United Nations academic impact, you and Aspire South believes in authentic dialogue where youth can be trained and educated by change makers and leaders in their field. The richness and cultures and diversities of our students has allowed our initiatives to transcend national borders and has made our students the teachers. I thank you for welcoming us to the United Nations, and I thank you for this Best Practices Award. Thank you, all of you, for the great work that you're doing. We do have some gifts for them, but we're going to present that as we start our, our noon break, because we're also very anxious to hear our spotlight presenter.